Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, so, I'm going to try to not... See, I was over here. This is stuff you don't even want to hear about, but this is some minutia crap. I was on the desk, but when I'm on the desk, if I touch the desk, the whole thing shakes and moves, okay? But if I sit back here where I could see out the window, every little thing that goes by grabs my attention. It's like, ooh, a butterfly, you know? So I'm going to try, and I just did it again. I'm going to try not to look out the window. So anyway, <clears throat> here we are. Um, and as you can see, I went to the barber shop for the first time in a decade. Paying someone to cut my hair. What am I, a Rockefeller or something? Jesus. Um... No, but I have a few videos I want to do because um, I just got back from a um, weird little trip. Um, and why the trip happened um, isn't important to what we're talking about here. But um, there were some things. So um, I went to San Francisco, um, and I haven't been to San Francisco proper, like in San Francisco for, um, I want to say like 15 years or more than that. Um, probably more than that, but, um, I went up there and checked some stuff out. Um, I will say if you are looking for um, good, uh, Latin food that the mission district is fucking amazing. And if you're looking for good Italian food, um, North beach is kind of the place to be. So, um, the food in San Francisco is good. Okay. And I will also say that, um, generally speaking, the more the food costs, the worse it's going to taste. Okay? So if you find some cheap empanadas or some cheap pupusas or some cheap Philly cheesesteaks or um, anything like that, definitely stop what you're doing and eat. Okay? Because it will be delicious. Um, but this video... Um, first off, we're going to talk a little bit about an exhibition I went to see, which was, um, the Immersive Frida. Now, it's pretty stupid that I went to San Francisco to see something I can see down the street. But, um, but the reason why was because the people I met up with up there, um, they don't have access to seeing this, so we all went. And so this is going to slightly be a review of this exhibition. Now, I'm going to say some things that might come off um, a bit rough, but I need you to just watch the whole thing and hear all my thoughts before you start telling me what a fucking asshole I am in the comments. Um, the Immersive Frida um, was probably the single most offensive thing I have ever seen at any kind of art exhibit of any gallery or anything of that nature. Um... I don't want to be melodramatic, but I seriously felt ill, okay? Not because of, oh, it was just so immersive and I felt like I was drowning, um, but because of the nature of the whole thing. Now, if you are unfamiliar with immersive art from these people, um, they did the immersive Van Gogh which I have not seen, but um, the man in the gift shop told me that it's much better than the Immersive Frida. Um, 
but he also just he knew that I had just come out of the immersive Frida. So of course, Upsell McGinty is gonna try to get me into the goddamn fucking Van Gogh thing. But um so let's just talk about what it is. So you go into a big fucking room and all around you, um, and not so much on the floor. There was a bit on the floor, but not a lot. But all around you, you're like a part of the painting, which you're not. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff. And I'll put some pictures up in here um, as we go so you can kind of get the feel for what I'm talking about. Now, in this room we were in, um, and mind you, there's no like, here's a little pamphlet or a card to explain what you're going to be seeing. Um, there, is, there was a, a small man who told us like, Hey, you're going to be going into this now. So like it's 45 minutes, so you could stay all day, whatever. Um, <clears throat> we go in and there was also a, um, like a school field trip that was there at the same time. So all these kids probably maybe junior high or high, early high school age kids in there, um, seeing this. And my thought is, is that this is probably their first, um, exposure to Frida. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> You see all these crazy images, and the immersion level kind of works at some point. So there was one part where um, water started rising on the walls, like an image of water. And for like a hot minute, I'm like, oh, gosh, I feel like I'm drowning. Because like, you feel like you're sinking in the water. <clears throat> so kudos, guys. You did great. You, 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 were, you were on Star Tours like a hundred years ago. Good job. So you know how that works. Um, so that was fantastic. Um, <clears throat> there was another point where, <laughs> dude, I'm so stupid. I can't believe I did this. So, um, there was this part where like, um, the leaves were falling and then going onto the ground. And, um, because when it's coming down the wall, it's going at a certain speed because the cameras, um, are kind of up on the ceiling. So it's coming down at a certain speed. And then when it hit the floor, it went. And I fucking yelled rat. I pointed and yelled rat like a psychopath inside of a crowded room. Okay. And it wasn't a rat. It was the image of a leaf. But I thought it was a fucking rat. So inside this thing, I screamed, um, <clears throat> which was kind of silly. Whatever. Um, but this thing's going on and everything and music's playing and all this shit. And, um, there's a bunch of pieces of her work and they're putting it into other pieces of her work. And then there's, um, things that aren't her work, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, being intertwined with her work and then pictures of her and pictures of her husband, um, there and then entwined with her work and all this other stuff and music's playing and the music is conveying emotion here and emotion there and very somber and very uplifting but not that much uplifting so there's all this stuff going on now my first thought was as i was looking at all this i was like huh like i wonder if the emotion that this music is trying to convey is different than the emotion that she was trying to convey with her painting. And so then I started thinking about like, um, juxtaposition and have you ever seen, um, a movie or something or a TV show where like, a really happy song is playing during a really morbid or um, unhappy moment or vice versa. Or um, 
just and a lot of times when that happens it's more for like ironic value than for anything else but um it just got me thinking like like these people are trying to push what they perceive the emotional reaction should be from this onto this and that just like kind of left me with like a nasty like plagiaristic like it just felt gross like i didn't like it and then i found out that um frida's estate or company or whoever handles whatever um has not approved this exhibit which i don't even understand how that's fucking possible like I, I i honestly have no idea like how that would work but i don't know if it's like a public domain thing or what so then that, that felt dirty and then um it there were parts of it that showed artwork from her husband but it didn't say that that's what was happening and so there's all these kids there, and this is probably their first taste of Frida. And um, they're like, oh, wow, yeah, Frida's self-portraits are great, but I really loved her diner period. You know, like, like what the fuck is that, you know? Um, so I think it gave some of the wrong impressions. And then there was this whole bit in the middle that had absolutely, as far as I know, none of Frida's art in it. And there was all this other art that was all about, um, like, the Spanish Revolution and um, shit. And there was all this, like, communist um, stuff and, like, marching and... Um, news real footage and all this stuff and yeah like if you know about Frida's life some of this stuff would make sense in some sort of thing about her but there's no fucking context so there's just no fucking context whatsoever so you're like oh is she for this is she against this is this a scary thing is this a good thing are, are people, ha it's, it's, you have no fucking idea. And I was just like, this is a fucking travesty. Like, it, it just fucking blew my mind. And yes, there were some images that were cool together. Um, there was this whole bit with, um, and I think I have a picture of it. There was this whole bit with like, um, like industry and, um, mass marketing of things which we will get to in a fucking minute friends i will fucking tell you and there, so there, there was some cool shit and then there was this like the shit with the water and that was kind of neat and the feet and all that stuff and you'll see that too um but then there was just like this thing where like with the deers with the people heads and they would turn and then turn back turn and i'm like oh so you just did a 3d model and put frida's art on top of it as a skin congratulations my kid could do that in minecraft like what the fuck is this and my kid does that for free you know like wh wh okay whatever so i was getting all pissed off and i was getting all fucking anxious because i was getting so fucking mad then then friends guess what you have to do every time you go to a gallery Every time you go to an art exhibit, say it out loud. I want to hear you say it. That's right, my friends. You have to exit through the fucking gift shop. The gift shop should have been the fucking exhibit. The gift shop should have been the social fucking commentary on this fucking garbage. Okay? You go into the gift shop. Oh, do you want a Frida flask? Do you want a Frida t-shirt? No, you probably are more interested in Frida socks or a Frida umbrella. Oh, wait, no, you want a Frida bucket hat. Oh, no, you probably, you, you seem you seem fun. Let's get you a Frida puzzle. 
No? Oh, you want a Frida poster? That's my, oh, a Frida bottle opener? Yeah, we got that too. Oh, did you want um, Frida underwear? Oh, okay. Did, wait, no, no. Did you want, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, you want, you want, oh, you want coasters. You want Frida coasters. Oh, okay. Oh, do you want, you want, oh, and then at the very end, there's like, uh, and actually, now that I think about it, there wasn't even a book of Frida's artwork. There was the Van Gogh artwork book, but there wasn't a Frida artwork book. Um, but there was a book about the immersive experience. So you could read about the people who put this together if you want. So anyway, they had fucking mannequins wearing all of the Frida and Van Gogh clothes. And they were set up in like a certain way that made you feel like you were like it fucking forever 21 for some stupid fucking reason. And you didn't know why you were there and you didn't know how to get out. Um... And there was just all this fucking shit. Now, I know people like having the crap they like on crap that they own. I get that. I'm wearing a fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. Now, do I think that Toby Hooper got it, like a cut of me wearing the shirt? I have no fucking idea. But um, I don't know. I don't know if Toby Hooper spent... The majority of his life um, making horror movies that were directly fucking screaming at consumerism and screaming at um, women's rights. And I don't know, like I could sit here and bitch and fucking scream and moan and it doesn't really fucking matter at the end of the day. Um but to me, it was just fucking nauseating. And any piece of crap you could even imagine, ever imagine, to put on something, they had it. And um, it was like red bubble on crack. But um, it... Oh, and then I got, do I have it around? Oh, no, it's another room. Um, like, the thing that I got that I was actually the most happy about was they gave out little um, spray bottles of Van Gogh hand sanitizer. And I thought that was at least a nice fucking thing to do. So um, I didn't get super pissed off about that. But um, the whole time, and there was so much Van Gogh stuff in there. And then here's another thing. There were all these like paintbrushes with paint on them hanging from the ceilings, like by strings and stuff, like in the um, room you go into after you're in the immersive experience. And I just thought to myself, I'm like, well, yeah, I guess that's what you're going to do with the paintbrushes since art isn't fucking important anymore and nobody gives a shit. And um, you're just going to take someone else's art and make a really crappy video game out of it. Um, that's a good of use as paintbrushes as anyone would ever need now, people. And, um, but the thing that was just driving me nuts was when I was coming out of the whole, well, actually through the whole thing, because it's the Van Gogh thing is the big draw and the Frida's the little draw. Um, at least how they push it. And I just kept thinking about that saying, you know. Like, and I don't know if you ever heard this, but I will leave you with this. Um, just because you could cut off your ear doesn't mean you should do it. And, of course, that is a Van Gogh reference there. But, um, and just because you could cut off your ear doesn't make you Van Gogh, you know? And so, just because... You can do this immersive experience. It doesn't fucking mean you should do it. Okay? It really fucking doesn't. And just because you can take someone... Like, I don't know what it is, dude. But when you take someone who, like, actually stood for things and had fucking, like, real, like, radical fucking thoughts and views... And you mass market them just like the factories in the immersive Frida experience, just to have her face on a bunch of crap. It like seriously, like 
I was so fucking upset. I was so fucking upset. And um, a little while later, um, I finally saw something um, outside of a gallery that made me feel a lot better. And I'll talk to you guys about that in my next video. But, um, but man, um, let me know what you think down below. Am I fucking overreacting? I feel like I'm overreacting, but I also feel very um, righteous in my anger. So um, let me know down below if you feel the same way. If you've seen the Van Gogh one, if it is really better, whatever. Just let me know down below. And um, until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.